Here's Mike Cypress. A block! The Raiders block the punt, and it's out the back of the end zone for a safety. Rock Cartwright may have blocked it. The Raiders get two points, and now it'll be a free kick. What a way to open the game for the Raiders. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, JT. You just saw Rock Cartwright block a punt against San Diego earlier in the season. Hopefully he can do it again this Sunday. Recently, our own Jeanette Thompson caught up with him to talk about his role with the Silver and Black, tweeting, and what about that name, Rock? Well, of course, you have an extremely unique name. <laughs> do you get raised eyebrows when, when you tell people, hi, my name is Rock? Uh, sometimes. The, most people say, is that your government name? So, well, my government name is Roderick, but everybody calls me Rock, so I'm stuck with it. But I enjoy it. It's cool. Did you anticipate having this type of career? Uh, you know, not really. Uh, my main goal, my main thing is special teams. And I figured that if I can continue to play special teams at a high level and uh, do the things that I need to do to help the team win, then I, hopefully I can be around for a while. Now, special teams is a position that a lot of people, uh, when they plan a team, they consider that secondary. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you just said, special teams is my thing? Because I feel this is just as important as offense and defense. Special teams can win you a game, they can lose you a game. That's kind of my niche is special teams, and I've been able to be successful at it. Uh, coaches have always put me in the right position to do the right thing, so uh, it's just kind of my little niche. Training camp, coming off the field, I can remember you making a comment to some of the guys about how well they were playing. They, they weren't up to your standards at the time. And you, you said it seriously, you know, you, you laughed a little bit about it because these are your teammates, but you said, no, nah, y'all weren't doing your job. Uh, I, th I think it's about accountability. Uh, I think every individual has to be accountable to one another, especially in this business and football. This is such a team sport. Uh, if one guy's not doing their job, then it's gonna, you know, it can hurt the whole team. So uh, I feel like if I'm doing my job, I should be able to come to tell you that you're, you're not doing your job. And uh, that, it's just kind of vice versa. If I'm not doing my job, I want a guy to come tell me, Rock, you can do a, bit, a little bit better. And I can accept that and understand that this guy's only trying to make us a better team. I noticed that you've uh, thanked some of the fans on your Twitter mm -hmm. account. <laughs> Why do you? have a Twitter account and, and what kinds of things do you say? The reason I got a Twitter account is because Darren had one, Bush had one, Marcel had one, so I had to kind of fit in with those guys. But, you know, I think that the Without the fans, there's really no football. And uh, the fans do so much for us. And, uh, you know, we have a sellout crowd, you know, at the Coliseum. It's, it's a great feeling. So uh, you definitely want to let the fans know that we appreciate their support. In the beginning of your career, there was one number that you started out with. However you changed, can you tell me why that happened? Uh, I wore number 40 when I got drafted. Uh, my mom passed away in 2004 on Memorial Day, uh, which was the 31st, and uh, that's why I changed my number to 31. Uh, unfortunately, when I got here, Hiram had it, and I wasn't about to pay for it, uh, so I went back to my college number, which was 25. I wore that number before I got to the NFL, and I remember grinding hard day in and day out, and I felt I had to do the same once I got here to let people know that I'm serious and that I wanted to be here and not, you know, to earn a job. Now you have the chance to wear the silver and black. What was it like the first time putting on that uniform? <laughs> it was different. I actually took a picture of my jersey on my pads. That was the first thing I did and sent it to my dad. Uh, it was definitely different. Uh, Hugh Jackson told me I look good in silver and black. He actually drafted me in Washington in uh, 2002. So, you know, I like the colors. You can do a lot with them. Uh, you can wear black and white shoes. So uh, it's, it's a good thing. I love the race. You also had a relationship with Hugh Jackson. What is it like playing for a coach once before and now coming to another team and having that opportunity well, he, again? He was still the same. He hasn't changed. Uh, he's very vocal, um, and he, he takes his job real serious. I was able to see him when he was in Baltimore. I seen him when he was in Cincinnati. We always kept contact. He's doing a great job for us here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always good when you have a coach that, that kind of looks out for you and uh, knows that you're a football player, and that's definitely what he did for me. Do you still like to play football? I love football. Day in and day. I've been playing football since I was six, so uh, that's all I know. About my dream was to play in the NFL. Uh, I'm still living my dream. I take it one day at a time. I never get complacent, uh, and you know that's about that's about it. I just I just live for Sundays.